Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're gonna work on an automatic landscape material which you can see here in the example. As you can see here everything inside here is not painted, it just sculpted and automatically changed it um, material textures based on the slope. So let's just paint here a bit and as you can see it turns brown. This material is fully customizable. As you can see here in the instance can set the fall off anti slope and I have some pre made examples for you. So, here will be with a bit more of a mountain view and with a bit more of this mountain texture. So, enough talk, let's get started. Create a new project. I will pick the third person again and rename it landscape or something. I will call it landscape YouTube and make sure to add the starter content. We will use the textures from there. Once your project has loaded, remove some of these walls here and create a new landscape. I will create a smaller one so I can compile and uh, use it faster here for testing. Then let's create a folder for our material. I will call it landscape. And inside here we need a new material. After that we can search for the first material, the grass material, which is inside the starter content, materials and then under M ground grass. Open this up and put it in here. So we have always um, yeah, all of this open. And then let's go to the landscape and open our landscape material. Before we add the grass let's work on the logic here. So from the base color get an interpolate. This thing here will determine where we gonna cut the material inside here. So for this we need to set up the alpha, get therefore in vertex color normal VS or WS. And from this one pull a mask, component mask, and we want to have here the blue channel because you can see this is only blue. So we will also get only the blue channel, we mask the blue channel and we're gonna subtract this one from a Scala parameter which we can set. So Scala parameter gonna call this grass slope which will be the slope and then we multiply this one so we can smooth that out with a Scala parameter again called grass fall off. And then we're gonna clamp this so we have only values between 0 and 1. And then we put it in into the alpha. For the default values we will use here a grass slope of 0.95. So we will use 95% of this bottom down material as the A channel and 5% for the B channel. And for the fall off we want to have a value of 25. So we have a smooth transition between those two. As you can see here now. So here we would have now an uh, auto landscape that will use two materials. If you want to have three you would just need to copy this one and make again a lerp and put the new lerp into the A. And now we have one, two, three materials and we can extend it again and again and again, like you want. But we will stick here with three. But always make sure to change the Scala parameter name. So this will be dirt slope and dirt fall off. Otherwise you will change this value and this will get changed too. For this template thing we will use here 0.2 of the dirt and a fall off of 30, like this. After that we now have to locate our materials and create material functions so we don't have uh, so much notes here. For this I will first create here a new material function which will be our grass base. Let's go here to place so we don't have this brush here always. And for the grass base open it up and search inside the starter content for your ground grass if you don't already have it open. 
So I'm gonna just use here my ground grass, which is inside the starter content, and I'm gonna copy it over here. And as I can see here in the ground grass, this slurp goes into the base color. I'm gonna use the slurp also for the base color. Apply and save, and as you can see, we have now here our material function with the material. And when we put this material function into our landscape, we'll just have this output here, which saves us a lot of place. And as you can see, at the top we have our grass. Let's do the same for uh, the dirt and the stone. So get the material function dirt base and the material function of stone base. For the dirt, I use the concrete grime, which looks a lot like dirt, so we will just use this. Pull it in, add this one, and apply and save. And then let's get also the rock basalt, which looks quite good, I think, for our stone base. And that's it. Apply and save. And then we just have to put those two back into our landscape material. Stone is here and the dirt is there. And there we go. We can now test this on our landscape. Go back to your landscape here. And inside the landscape material we want this landscape material, but before we do this, we create an instance so we can change the values at runtime. Just leave it as it is, put it in, and now we're gonna wait. And there it is. We have now this cool looking grass here from the starter content with those dead grass patches here and with a lot of variation between those fields here. I think this is quite nice, and as you also can see here now, when we're gonna paint here or sculpt, you can see it changes the material. The next step is to create your normal and roughness so we don't have these shiny thing on the material. For this just go back into your landscape material and copy and paste here everything in. Connect this one to the normal and now we need to change those three to the normal material of the material. Go back to the project, copy those three bases or duplicate them. And now for each of them you need to go inside of them and get the normal here and put it inside the preview output. And then you can just rename it to dirt normal and also put it in. I will skip this for the grass base 2 and for the stone base 2 so we don't waste time here. After you finished and compiled, all three should look like this. Then you can get those three and put it into the landscape material. And then we just need to replace those. Stone, dirt normal and grass normal. Oh, I forgot to rename those, so let's fast change them to grass normal here and store normal. This normal now should give them a little bit of a 3D look. So yeah, looks quite better. And then we need to do the same for the roughness. So again, copy those three, uh, sorry, duplicate those three, and do here the same, just this time with the roughness. I'm gonna skip this again and come back when I've finished. And you should now have three of the roughness, which looks quite white. And put it again into your landscape material. Copy this one, paste it in, and connect the LARP again with the roughness here. Get those three materials and connect everything to the place they belong. Then let's apply and save and see what we got. 
Yeah, that looks quite good. Much better than before without the sun reflecting on the dirt. And that's it. Uh, before we end, I'm gonna show you my two other instant instances. So create from the instance before another one. And inside here we're gonna check those boxes and then we can change here the uh, fall off and the slope at, at runtime. So get here 10, sorry, 10.65. 25 can be like this and 95 can also stay like this. And then you just have to put in here the new one. And as you can see, it gonna add here a little bit of a rock texture or here. And if you want to have a version with more rock, you just have to create another material instead of it. So you can test with those values. I'm gonna use here a higher slope of 30 and a higher fall off of 0.9. And again, this can stay as it is. And now I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna plug this into our landscape. And now, as you can see, we have here our more rocky like stone edge. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, you can build it so it looks a bit better and wait for it. It will take a little bit of time. But the wait is worth. After that you get rid of these black border lines here on the ground and have a good looking material. As you can see uh, I use another material here than in my example. That's just the uh, material called rock slate I used in the example and this one is the rock basalt. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!